Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome to Shed Games. Uh, tonight we've got a bit of a different one. Uh, I'm doing uh, a sort of a vlog slash uh, channel update, I guess. Uh, it's I wanted to I've, basically, I suppose, since starting YouTube back in February. Um, I, can, I guess when I first started it, I, I kind of imagined myself um, just being alone out here and just playing my games, loading them up uh, onto Tinterweb, and uh, and that's it basically. And cross my fingers and pray that I'd get some subs and that I'd get some views, um, and that's kind of it. And I guess I guess I never thought I'd actually be part of a little YouTube community, if you like, and have friends across the world. But that's how it is. That's that's how it's turned out, as it were. Um I did which I didn't realise would happen. I've got um I have friends across the world. Bizarre. Very strange to think about. Um and they've and, and I've been watching obviously I I watch try and watch as much as I can of um other people's channels um especially the ones within my little community if you know what i mean um and and i try and support them and they try and support me so we all sort of support each other um and they've been i've noticed they've been doing uh, a lot of people have been doing a lot of vlogs and um sort of channel updates and special ones rather than just the run of the mill um games and i and i kind of like it you know um i enjoy watching vlogs from other people um brad from broden games i enjoy watching his vlogs about his family and his wife's cakes which i've got to say look amazing i love your wife's cakes um i was, I was gonna start being rude and talk about buns then but i'm not going to i'm gonna i'm gonna brush that aside um and uh, yeah and and things like that and just the day-to-day the -day run in the mill stuff like taking Jason to hospital, and there's other things that um, Jerry um, from Watch Me Gaming he does um, sort of uh, <coughs> channel updates and um, things like that, and they all a lot of them tend to do. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cold cough thing. It's been hanging around. It's gone down to my chest. It's because I'm a double D, and uh, and it never gets on with uh, with colds um anyway they um, they do uh, shout outs and things like that so i guess basically what i've thought about now is that i i feel the the urge to do the same kind of thing not not to just sort of keep up with them and to do the same as them but because i'm interested in what they do i'm interested to see what they what you guys see and what they what they they put out as it were um, and, I, and, and I kind of figured that, well, if I'm interested, then maybe someone else would be interested in me. Because I do get a lot of questions asked. Um, who are you, Shed? Um, well, my name's Andy, for a start, so stop calling me Shed. Uh, no one's going to be named Shed, are they? I don't know. I hope not. Anyway, um, so, yeah, my name's Andy, so call me Andy. Um, but they say, who are you, Shed? And uh, where, where do you live? What do you do? Why Shed Games? Things like that. So, um, okay channel update okay first i'm going to start doing vlogs um there's going to be no set date um because of the way that my life is i've got a busy life um i have <coughs> sorry uh, i have a uh, uh well a, a fairly large young family i guess um i have four children if you didn't know i know um and i'm also a foster carer and I have my own business and I also have a proper day job if you like and I also do this um, and I'm also I suppose I, I say I'm, a, I'm an amateur filmmaker I, I used to be an amateur filmmaker um, I haven't actually made any films recently but I used to and I will do again so you know I don't have an awful lot of time basically to to do um, sort of a structured Wednesday is going to be my channel up. To, uh, no, sorry, my Wednesday is going to be my vlog and Sunday shout outs, that kind of stuff. I can't do that. So I'll do them when I can. Um, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy them, I guess. Uh, I don't know what the, they'll be about. But hey, what the hell? 
Um, so I'll do some vlogs. I'm going to do some shout outs as well because I've been on a few shout outs with you guys. Um, and I feel that, you know, if you're putting the love out to me, I need to give it back to you guys because I do love you guys. I love all the support you give me. Um, I love all the comments that you write. I love I love every time you like one of my videos. It really does mean a lot, um, especially for us smaller channels, you know, um, to have comments written and uh, you know because we do read them and we answer all of them um and to have them liked uh you know it, it makes us feel good and warm inside like a chocolate milky drink um or bovril <sighs> not like bovril bov i don't know where that came from bovril is disgusting uh bovril bovril is vomitous um forget bovril that's that's horrible. They're more like uh, Ovaltine uh, or Horlicks. I don't know if you Americans or Canadians or whatever um, have those kind of drinks, but hot chocolate makes you feel warm inside, you know. And uh, and and sometimes um, you're really nice and make really nice comments, and uh, you like and you love us, and that feels like hot, warm chocolate and a slice of cake. So that's what we like. So yeah, so basically, um, I'm going to do some shout outs to show my appreciation to you guys, uh, part of my small knit community, um, about how much I love you guys. So, you know, I think that's important. I think that we, uh, we need to support each other. And it is fun as well, just to see what the other one's doing and, uh, you know, what, we, what we're all about. The real person, the real me, the real you. Um, what else am I going to talk about? Well, it's a channel update. So... At the moment, uh, the games I'm playing, which are obviously quite important, um, The Evil Within, I'm playing, I shall carry on playing that. I'm going to carry on playing Alien Isolation. Um, now, those two games, I believe, are very, very long. So I will play them as long as you guys support them. So, you know, if, they, if the views drop down to like one or two, then I'll give it up. Um, I'll play the Evil Within uh, definitely myself anyway. But uh, you know, if 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 you, the views are there, then I shall keep playing them because um, they are quite long. And um, because I have limited time, I get I get a, sort of three or four videos a week on a good week. Um, it's going to take a while to get through them, so I'm going to mix it up a bit. I'm still playing um, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which I really enjoy. Um, uh, so I'm going to finish that, and I think I'm kind of close to the end. I think there's maybe one or two more. To go with that, um, I'm playing Dead Rising 3. Not sure if I'm going to carry on with that, only because I know some people like it and and it is good fun, but it's very samey. It's um, you know you get to get a bit of a, a mission and you go off and you run down loads of zombies and uh, shoot a load of people. It's it's good fun. It's it's great fun, but I think because of my time constraints and I don't know the popularity of it maybe. Um, I might give it a miss. I'll see how it goes. I don't know. Um, what's the other one? I'm, uh, Am <coughs> I haven't finished Amnesia, Descent to Darkness yet. I'm kind of close to the end, but it's been like three or four months since I've played it. So I've kind of... I'm going to be honest, I've kind of lost interest in that. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good game. It's very, very atmospheric. But there's not a massive amount that goes on. You know, every now and again you see that this monster with the half the face kind of shit, you know, going on. And, uh, you know... I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll play it by ear. I might, I might finish it one day. Um, but those are kind of the games I'm playing now. What games am I going to be playing in the future? I hear you ask. No, you did ask. You at the back. Therefore, I'm going to answer. <coughs> um, I guess one of the first one is going to be Outlast. They, uh, I, I heard uh, not so long ago that they're going to release another Outlast. I don't know when. Um, I'm guessing obviously next year at some point. As soon as that comes out, I shall be playing that because I'm a massive, massive, mahoosive fan of our last. Um, I love it to bits. Um, I want to also play something like The Forest. I don't know why. I tried The Forest, um, but I didn't get on with it. It um, it was basically a little bit boring. Not a lot happened. And every time you died, you go all the way back to the beginning and you have to start again. What the fuck? I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to build a house and keep it. If I die, just keep the house. You know, I don't want to start again because that's just. Oh no, I can't be doing that. So, 
I don't know if that's still the same. I've watched a little bit um, with Andrew Oscar Doubter. Go see him because uh, Andrew Oscar Doubter is like, to me, is the king of uh, the sort of the survival um, open world games. Um, he plays uh, he plays the forest and he plays um, miscreated, I think it is, and uh, unturned and um, loads of others. There's quite a few. I think he's on a half a dozen different kinds of games and um, and some are good some are bad you know but you want to find out what they're like go and see him um, Andrew Oscar Delta one that he mentioned a while back that I've looked at and I think looks quite good which I'm going to try and play what well, I'm going to play is H1Z1 um, when that comes out I think early next year 2015 I'm gonna play that one and give that a go and see what I think see what you guys think so that'll be um, one of the games to uh, to look forward to Freddy's Five Nights at Freddy's Part Two, um, definitely because I enjoyed the first one to about night five, night six, and then kind of got a bit stale, a bit boring, just purely because same thing all over again, and you just it's that anticipation of being scared. Um, it's not good for your heart because they did give me, that game did give me some of the biggest scares I've ever had. So I need to be careful. I need to go see a doctor first. Um, so I'm going to try that when it comes out. Um, I'm also going to be playing Slender, The Arrival. Um, where at some point, oh my monitor's just gone off. Uh, Slender, I'm also going to be playing Slender, The Arrival. Um, it's something I've quite fancied uh, for a while. Uh, obviously, obviously, you all know Slender, the eight pages, the original. Well, that was uh, that was an indie game. It was free, and um, because it just went viral. Um, is that viral? Yeah, it is viral. Yeah, um, they it, it, they they decided they were going to make a, a full blown game. So this is the full blown game for Slender. So I'm going to play that. Um, I'm going to still play indie games, although I haven't played any for a while. I will slot indie games, the free ones, in every now and again. You know when the time is right. Anything else like that? You know. Um, so I'll be doing some indie games as well. And basically any other game that you guys want me to see what, what want me to play that you want to see um, let me know if there is anything that you want to you want to see you want me to play I may not play it but I will appreciate absolutely from the the bottom of my heart every suggestion that you make um, I'll tell you now I don't fancy <laughs> creepypasta kind of games where you kind of it's, it's like a plan view and you this little thing and you just walk along and you, and you do you know what I'm saying I don't get those some people you know I know I know PewDiePie and Markiplier have played them and other people have played them um, but they're not scary in the slightest and they're not creepy and they're weird and I've seen I've seen one and it was just really kind of sick it was, it was incestuous and it was really weird but I don't I don't I don't get it it's not it's not my bag baby you know what I'm saying I um, so suggest them whatever you want uh, if it's not my bag I won't play it but thank you anyway thank you from the heart of my bottom um, I appreciate everything that you guys um, talk to me about and send me and suggest. what else oh yes uh, the other things I'm gonna do um, I'm close to I think I've got so what have I got let me have a look I've got about 932 or so subscribers uh, at the moment um, so I'm, I'm close to a thousand so I'm anticipating the fact that I'm going to get to a thousand at some point soon. I'm hoping, cross fingers. Um, so I'd like to do um, a bit of a Q and A special. So um, not not just for the thousand, but you know around around the thousand mark. Um, so I'm going to do a Q and A special. So tell me what you want to know, okay? And I've told you my name is Andy. You know a little bit about me already because I've just gone through it. And if you weren't paying attention, go back and watch it. Ask me questions. What's my favourite colour? You know, whereabouts in the world do I live? Um, why am I called Shed Games? If you've been paying attention, I'll know that anyway. How many children do I have? What do I do for a living? Um, what's my favourite food? How do I sleep at night? <laughs> Oh, you'd want to know that. Some of you might know. I don't know. Um, and which side do I sleep on at night? Do I snore? God, yes. Um, you know, anything. You name it. What's my favourite games? Maybe maybe go more towards the gaming side of things. How? Oh, gosh. How long have I been gaming? 
you know things like that and for those for those um, of you who are old enough um, I've, I've been gaming since the ZX Spectrum there you go and the original Dari there you go so there you are that's that's how long I've been gaming um, so yes yeah, so a Q&A special give me the questions anything you like um, the other thing I'm gonna do is a thousand sub special I haven't quite decided what it's going to be, but it's going to be along the lines of hot sauce, that kind of thing. Now, I think what it may be, I've always, I, I love a curry, but I don't like it hot. I'm not good with heat. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that a vindaloo with hot sauce in might be nice. So at least I can have something to eat as well um, before I throw it all up. And uh, so suggest the game that you'd like me to play. Um, I've kind of, I'm kind of feeling like um, you know, Happy Wheels is something I've never played and uh, I've always kind of fancied. Um, or there's, uh, I'm trying to meet something. What's the, what's the guy, uh, the Meat Man or something, where uh, you, you this little ball of flesh without skin and you have to go around this maze of thing. I don't know that. Or the Impossible um, game um, that uh, that Captain Spinifex tried when he did um, his hot sauce challenge. Very funny. So let me know about that. Um, what else? What else should I talk about? Um, just as a taster, I know I'm going to do shout outs um, another day, but as a taster, let me let me just grab you. Hang on a sec. Bear with. Look, this is my this is my monitor. There you go. And I thought I'd. There you go. That's my computer. Look, that's me there. Well, that's not actually me, but it's my computer monitor. Um, these these are the guys that I kind of that I've I think are awesome. Now there there are more than this, but you know on, on our YouTube channel, um, you can have as many as you like. You can have all your awesome people, but you talk to hundreds more. Well, it's the same here, but these are a few that you know I that hold a special place in my ass, heart. Heart. Um, let's have a look. There, uh, this one here, he's my special bud. Uh, that's Brad and Bronin Games. Go and check him out. He's very, very funny. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever, ever seen. He's a good friend of mine, and I love him to bits. So make sure you go and see uh, Bronin Games. I'm just going to do this quickly because I'm going to do a, a shout out um, later on. Jay Hutch Games. He does loads for people. He does shout outs um, and does loads of things, and he and he plays some wicked games, um, lots of indie games, things like that. Tight Fists and Loose Cankles, those two guys are hilarious. You've got to go and see them. They're, they're just the loveliest people you'll you'll ever meet. They're brilliant. Uh, grab a pint. He is a wicked dude. Um, he does some fantastic games, very similar to my games, um, and uh, and and then some more too. And he's he's uh, so cool. He's brilliant. Um, the Wii Gamers Duo. They are a lovely again a lovely bunch a uh, lovely bunch lovely bunch of coconuts lovely pair. Of people I uh, love them to bits as do uh, I with atomic blue productions um, again um, two really I think Ryan and, uh, and Mary Kate Mary Kate I can't remember now offhand uh, but Ryan and Mary um, go and see their games as well um, the Wii gamers they do uh, Lara Croft and uh, and games like and more uh, what is it more 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 the, 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 the go go see you'll see um, Captain Spinifex, um, he's uh, Jamie from Australia. He's uh, he plays a lot of games like mine. He's on um, Amnesia at the moment, as I couldn't remember. <laughs> uh, Game Brahmin, he's the boss man, and uh, he plays almost entirely nothing but indie games, um, which is a rarity. Uh, and he he's he's just he's just really cool. I like him. He's the boss man, as he will tell you. Uh, Pure Venom, he does some good uh, games. He's uh, He's been doing um, a lot of Outlast and some <laughs> Call of Duty kind of games. Uh, shoot them up games. Game the Couple. Um, they are... Now I'm trying to think where they're from. Are they from Sweden? Sweden, I think. I can't remember. Um, but again, lovely, lovely couple. And they do some rather unique sort of games. They've just started the Freddies. Um, and they're brilliant. Love them to bits. The Deep Man. That deep man, the deep man by that deep man. 
Um, he's quite nice actually. He's quite nice. He's he does some little twenty min twenty minute twenty second little sketches of uh, sort of d- deep thoughtful um, things. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It's like minute um, physics, um, but um, just sort of thoughtful life um, things uh, to think about in life. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, Azzy, Azzy plays. Um, she's lovely, she's brilliant. I love her, and uh, she plays some wicked games. Go see her. Uh, Wilboski. <coughs> Wilboski? That's how you play it. That's how you say it, isn't it? Wil- Wilboski. Wilboski. Um, again, very similar to the kind of games that I play, and uh, he's very, very funny. I like him. If you want Minecraft, Butamus. Um, go see Andy on Butamus. He's, um, he's just almost entirely on um, Minecraft. And he's, he plays some really great games. Jerry on Watch Me Game, he's uh, he's a lovely bloke, lovely bloke. He's had a um, quite a hard time at the moment uh, because he's, uh, his channels have been raided by goodness knows what kind of viruses and all sorts, but um, and spam and shit like that. But he's now got himself together and he's uh, he's really starting. So good luck on that, Jerry. And uh, he's absolutely brilliant, really good. And then Crosby plays games. He's he's my newest one. Um, he's uh, he's um, a great. A great uh, guy, and uh, and does loads of loves of different games as well. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, really. Um, but uh, go and check them all out. These are my kind of little community of people. And uh, there you go. So let's just pop you there. Hopefully, you're. I'm in view. So there you go. That's about it, really, isn't it? I think for uh, the the little uh, channel update, I told you a bit about myself and what's up and coming. Um, go and support all those guys I shall give them all a shout out uh, on a later date support me too and um, keep watching um, let me know what you think uh, the channels the, the channels the, the comments are always very very well um, appreciated and I love you all and I'll see you all for the next video soon see you later bye <laughs>